kid. Are you really worried about spoiling Jake's Christmas? Or are you worried that Jason will tell Jake the truth about what you did to me? You know, I decided to not press assault charges against Jason. You should be thanking me. If it weren't for me, he'd be locked up on Christmas. Really? You, I, I don't think you wanted that case to go to trial. Did you want me and Michael to tell a jury what you did to us? And why Jason thought he had to protect us? Why he still thinks he has to protect you know, us? Sam, I, I thought we'd arrived at some kind of a truce, you and I. Then you thought wrong. You may not be legally responsible for what you did to me, but you did it, and I will carry those scars with me for the rest of my life. And Jason was there. He lived it, too. He's not done with you. Well, it sounds like you're not done with Jason, either. You know what I noticed? I noticed that when Andre made his surprise announcement about which twin was which, you were not at all surprised. It's as if you knew. From the minute that Jason came back to town, you knew the truth, and you just pretended that you were standing by Drew. So if you're somebody who's pretending, maybe you're just counting the days until you can run back into Jason's arms. And maybe you're hoping you can marry Elizabeth before she goes running to Jason herself. We got some more information about your dad and his twin brother. They were actually separated at birth. And the one who grew up here in Port Charles is Jason Morgan. Oh, Jake. Jason is your biological father. Mom, I know all of this. Dad's sitting right here. Okay, here's the thing. None of us realize this, but... Uh... Jason is the other twin. My name is Drew, which makes me your biological uncle. No, no that's not right. You made a mistake. A mistake, son. Yes, there is. Mom, tell him. Baby, I know this is really confusing. I'm not confused. You're not my uncle. You're my dad. I need you to listen to me. You're a good, strong boy. I need you to hear me out, okay? I thought I was your father. I feel like I'm your father, and I'm, you're always, you're always going to be my son. But this is tough, and we're tough, so we're going to face it. He's also your father. I don't want him to be. I don't need another dad. I only need you. Hey, Jake. I know this is hard for you. Sorry for me, true. But uh, we're going to have to face it. And there's going to be some changes. Changes? What? How? Son, I'm, I'm not really sure, because as crazy as this sounds, I don't know anything about Jason. I don't know what he might want or what he might plan to do. But we do know that Jason wants you to be okay. That's what we all want. So we're gonna take it two step at a time and we're gonna do our best to communicate and listen. And little by little, we're gonna figure it out together. This is what you need to remember. You are always gonna have me, okay? If you need me, I'm gonna be there. I'm always gonna be in your life. And you'll always be my dad. <sighs> okay, I think this is enough for now. Let's get back to Sam and Frank, okay? <laughs> <laughs>